This is a brief introduction to supraspinatus pathology. We will begin by describing the bony anatomy covered by the articular hyaline cartilage shown here in blue. Illustrated here is the long head of the bicep tendon passing through the bicep groove to insert at the superior glenoid labrum. Illustrated next is the supraspinatus tendon as it attaches to the greater tuberosity at the anterior portion. Posteriorly, the infraspinatus tendon wraps around the posterior surface of the humeral head to attach to the remainder of the greater tuberosity's lateral and posterior margins. As the infraspinatus tendon attaches to the posterior aspect of the greater tuberosity, Take note that about one-third of its tendon fibers share an insertion point with the supraspinatus's posterior one-third of its tendon as well. Due to the oblique nature of the infraspinatus's insertion relative to the supraspinatus's insertion to the greater tuberosity, special care should be taken while scanning through this section to avoid false positive tears. Enveloping these lateral rotator cuff structures will be the subacromial subdeltoid bursa. This illustration shows a cross section of the supraspinatus proximal to its insertion of the greater tuberosity. The primary focus of this video will be the relationship of the supraspinatus tendon with the bicep tendon at its intracapsular segment. This is the corresponding image of the supraspinatus tendon in cross section. Highlighted here is the humeral head proximal to the supraspinatus insertion. The black rim is the articular cartilage. The lateral deltoid muscle will run in cross-section as well at this level. The anterior supraspinatus tendon is well visualized while the posterior supraspinatus tendon is less identifiable due to its merger with the infraspinatus. Highlighted in this image is the bicep tendon also in cross-section with the supraspinatus tendon's anterior margin. From the transverse or cross-section image, we will now switch to the long axis or sagittal cut of the supraspinatus tendon at the anterior margin of the greater tuberosity. Here is the corresponding long axis section of the supraspinatus tendon as it inserts to the greater tuberosity. Highlighted here is the humeral head and greater tuberosity in profile. It is not uncommon to see a long axis deltoid muscle in relation to the long axis of the supraspinatus tendon. Highlighted in the next image is the long axis of the supraspinatus tendon as it inserts to the greater tuberosity. Supraspinatus pathological images. This image demonstrates an anterior full thickness tear as well as a bursal surface mid-segment tear of the supraspinatus tendon. Here we have multiple tear sites with no volume loss identified in the transverse image. Here we have anterior articular surface tearing demonstrating volume loss as hypoechoic absence of tendon fibers. Here we have postoperative re-tear of the anterior supraspinatus tendon. Locating the exact site of this tear is difficult as the bicep tendon is not in its normally situated bicipital groove. Scanning from the empty biceps groove posteriorly will reveal our first and best landmark of the lateral greater tuberosity and profile. Scanning too posteriorly may reveal a falsely normal rotator cuff as demonstrated in blue. Here is a corresponding normal rotator cuff with a normally situated bicep tendon highlighted in blue where the dislocated is in red. In this case, a long axis greater tuberosity would be a better landmark. Subtle intrasubstance tearing is often harder to identify. There is a hyperechoic layer over the subacromial bursa called peribursal fat, then a lubricating layer that is the actual bursal void, followed by the supraspinatus tendon itself. Area of interest here is the dip or the concave in what would normally be a convex appearing bursal layer. In long axis, this normally convex appearing cuff may actually be flattened instead of rounded as we see here. Again, take care to scan through the entire cuff to avoid any false positives as we have demonstrated here as a falsely normal cuff in blue.